Hey guys, it's Vanessa. So today I'm going to do a, a demo of my Soda Stream, which was recommended before. I love my Soda Stream. It's over there. I use it all the time. And I was requested in the past when I did a video of like my favorite drink accessories, which I will link right here. Um, I showed the Soda Stream because I love it, love, love, love it. I'm a major advocate of it. I just think it's a great product because it's really good for the environment. You're cutting down on cans and bottles that would be going in the waste and even if you recycle the resources it takes to recycle things is also an impact on the earth so reducing is always better than recycling when you can so i think that it's really good for that it also cuts down on um like bottled water purchases um and beverage purchases overall so i think that's really cool and i like that a lot and like i said it doesn't use any electricity so there's no electrical impact it's a pretty awesome um, product that I really like so I um, today went to go buy a new cartridge because you have to refill it and then I also wanted to buy um, these smaller containers which I'll talk about in the video um, and then I also picked up which I can't show you because I'm actually propping on the box but I can show you the one I use um, soda stream has this new thing which are the soda stream caps um, and they're like kind of individual use um, soda to refill your liter so that when you're making soda it's just the perfect amount I mean it's a little less messier than using the current system they have which is like pouring into the container um, so disclaimer before I start the video I will say that uh, my one con about this product is that this kind of I think negates the awesomeness that is soda stream because soda stream to me is so amazing because it does uh, you know reduce our like carbon footprints and it really helps um also you know with like recycling and just like it's a really eco-friendly option for people who care about things like that um and making something that's like individually packaged oops individually packaged um is a little bit more wasteful because now every time i make one of these i'm producing garbage versus with um the other ones that they have it's kind of like a jug it kind of looks like a little mini like laundry detergent bottle and it's a while before you're going to throw that out so you're not constantly throwing something away. So I'm not too crazy about this system but I did want to try it. Um, and I know sometimes using, <laughs> it's really all over me, sometimes using the other system can get a little messy so I can understand why they did this to make it easier for the consumer. However, I think that they were such a good eco option before that I think it kind of dilutes their um, eco messaging that you know that you can say it with a soda stream another thing i wanted to say about the soda stream really quickly is if you didn't use the soda stream syrups it's also a really helpful option if you're trying to cut back on soda you can just make like seltzer water um and you can also just use like all natural juices to flavor your seltzer water and you can also make tea pop which is a healthier soda which i will do a review soon so if you want to see how to use the soda stream like fresh out if you were just to buy a soda stream how to use it and also uh, a review on the new soda stream caps as well as a flavor review on the diet ginger ale flavor um which i have right here stick around and keep watching so i wheeled my beverage cart over and hopefully you can see i have my soda stream machine here um so i can kind of demonstrate for you obviously it's going to get cut off i have like a one of the older generation soda streams so yours might look a little bit different but the idea is generally the same um, I don't even know what model this is uh, so yeah but anyways it's kind of the same for all of them and like I mentioned I just got this new um, co2 so you can kind of see what it would be like if you were making soda stream for the very first time out the box because I need to install this so it comes on the top with like just you know plastic you're gonna take that off and there's also a green cap but you wanna I'm kind of scared because I've been out all day and this always terrifies me. You want to slowly uncap it just in case. And then when I flip this over, the back is off so you can see. Um, I lift the machine and there's a little um, opening. Go ahead and screw your bottle into your soda stream machine, making sure it's like tight on there. Nice. All right. Let me re-secure this bottle. So this is installed and we're good to go. And then I'm just gonna pop the back onto it. Good to go, okay. Next you're going to take your liter bottle. Um, you can also get smaller liters. I just purchased one today. Um, it's a two pack and these are the, I'll take this one out. 
the half liter bottle so you can see that they're a smaller size bottle um, but this is what the standard machine comes with and it's just a full liter bottle BPA free and you're gonna fill it up with um, either what you're gonna do is fill it up just like straight from the tap or with water and you're gonna let it chill in your fridge or you could fill it with already cold water which is I, what I normally do is fill it from water that's already been chilling in my filter pitcher at home so you're gonna fill it up up to there is a squiggly line that you fill right there so you fill it up to there obviously the cap won't be on <laughs> And then with this system, you're gonna tilt the machine. Normally all the systems have like a way you can tilt and you want to have access to this nozzle and you're gonna take the cup and you're gonna slide it in there. This actually requires support. And you're gonna twist it until it's securely in there and then it'll just lower. And then on the very top, there's a button right here and you're gonna push that down and you're gonna start seeing this carbonate and then you're gonna hear three very loud buzzing noises. After the third buzz, then you are perfectly carbonated and they tell you not to do more. Sometimes I'll do like one or two more buzzes for more fizziness, um, but three is kind of like the standard fizz um, and it's pretty fizzy and good to go. So since this is a new cartridge, I normally don't need to do more than three fizzes. So we're gonna do that and it's a little loud, so I forewarned they're like loud farting noises. So here we go. And then you're going to tilt this to release the CO2 and your bottle. So now this is fully carbonated and now at this point you would fill in your liquid. So when you're getting a new one, it's going to come with these kind of sample packets. This is the only one I have left. These sample packets and you can go ahead and fill it in and one of these will do this. Um, or you can purchase additional flavors in these kind of containers and I have a few of them here and for this what you would do is you would pour kind of just like laundry you pour into this measuring cup there's a fill line you tilt your bottle at a 45 degree angle you pour it in slowly and then you just kind of flip your um, flip your container like one or two times to mix now SodaStream has come out with this new thing which is the SodaStream caps and it makes all of that easier and I picked up today this is the diet soda mix sampler pack and you get eight um, little caps that look like this and they make soda so this one has all their different diet soda flavors and I'm going to make diet ginger ale and for this you're supposed to just um, put it on top push it um, push the cap down twist it and taste it so we're going to do that and there you can see it filling up which is really cool all the liquid goes in just make sure it all got in there. Great, and then you're going to cap the bottle. And you're gonna do, I normally do like one or two flips over, just to make sure it all gets in there. You could do like twists like so. And you'll see your drink is carbonated. So now I'm going to uh, go and try this on camera, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I'm back now with my diet ginger ale that I just made, and I'm going to just go ahead and pour it in a cup and give it a sip, just using a mason jar. And you can see that it's really nice and fizzy, the soda that is made from the soda stream, just using tap water, no electricity, and some flavoring. Right out the gate, it smells almost a little citrusy for a um, ginger ale, so we will see. Now for the sip. really good I feel like I had the soda stream ginger ale before and I like this one better I think that it doesn't taste too gingery it just tastes like a very light um, it tastes more like a light like lemon limey versus like ginger yeah like I don't get a true, true ginger taste. Um, I think if you don't like diet, obviously they uh, they have a sampler pack that is not diet soda, so this would be a little bit different for you. For me, I actually really like it because I don't feel like it has a diety aftertaste um, at all. 
they don't compare they don't have any um aspartame is it um in there so maybe that's why i don't know what the sweetener is that they do use i think it tells you here uh I can't find it but I will annotate it but I think it tastes really good I like this I think it's light um, it's not too overpowering um, and I made it so that's good um, I'll try the other flavors too I'll come on here and let you know how I think the other flavors taste I think compared to real ginger ale this doesn't taste gingery it just tastes like a good lemon limey soda almost uh, not overly citrusy but just not like it doesn't have that not the ginger ale spicy but you know what I'm saying that like gingery taste that we all know Yeah, it tastes like a, like Sprite's cousin or something like that. But it's really good. So yeah, cheers.